like that. Uh, and uh, I become an <coughs> refugee. Uh, so the reason for my immigration was war. Uh, differently, I stay in my hometown, finish my school, live in Bosnia, maybe travel abroad. Uh, but uh, now uh, enters uh, uh, one very important world word that our uh, Dr. Dunja loved, observation. <laughs> it's very interesting when you observe things <laughs> from the eye of the refugee. It's not, you are not a tourist, you are not a broad student, you are a refugee. Uh, you don't have a documents, that is valuable. Uh, interest that you have yesterday, it's no meaning today. Uh, everything is replaced with something else. And nobody uh, asks you. And uh, you can cry one day, two day, but lives go on. And uh, maybe uh, uh, your books or uh, other your interest, uh, it's no matter anymore. Now, and uh, I don't know how, but I finished after several months in, in uh, Zagabria and several months in Ljubljana, I finished uh, in Italy, in Turin as a refugee. And uh, I faced with uh, language barrier uh, and uh, I couldn't uh, thinking anymore to uh, continue my studies. My parents left in Banja Luka. And uh, uh, some family composed uh, uh, of uh, two members, young people, uh, they uh, take me and give me uh, uh, accommodation. Uh, both of them, especially she, uh, a very nice person uh, named Antonietta, uh, it was very, uh, uh, how to say, interesting uh, because uh, she put me, me uh, in any possible situation first uh, to make documents, to uh, go to study language, uh, to uh, find uh, uh, presenting applications for job. And that for me was very tough and very, because uh, after one year and a half, when my parents came to the Italy, everything was so easy because I was uh, already know how to, to manage the things. And uh, uh, to make a story a little bit easier, I'll try to do some anecdotes. That's a lot of anecdotes of that two years and a half in Italy. Uh, I try to, to learn uh, language, very interesting language, not difficult. Uh, and she said to me, Amela, you don't go to the uh, language for stra uh, school for strangers to learn language. You will go to my uh, fr friend of mine, Mar Maria Letizia. She was a professor on English. And uh, every day for two or three hours, I'll go to the home of that Maria Letizia. And she explained me Italian, true English. And I, after that two hours, three hours, go home and my head was like this. I don't know anything of the Bosnian, of the Italian, of the English, nothing. Mm -hmm. But uh, after two months, uh, 
and I came back to, to her home and we starting to, to speak each other how uh, the day goes and she said to me, oh stop Pamela, not anymore in English, in Italian, in Italian. She pushed me every uh, situation like Dr. Muhammad pushed us uh, now through this project. And uh, uh, after two months, uh, I find the first job, uh, classic story, with helping with all persons. <laughs> Important, to even this. Every job is, uh, is good and uh, it's honest. But I think that uh, we have to stay here, to study here, and to do something that we want and we think that we can do the best. And I came uh, for the first, my job, and those uh, uh, old person asked me, what's your name? And I said, Amela, they don't understand. They don't, uh, they can't uh, uh, pronounce. pronounce. And, and they uh, forget <coughs> very easily. And I said, uh, Mela is in Italian, apple. And I said, I'm Amela, like apple with A in front, Amela. <laughs> And after two, two or three minutes, they said me, pear, pear, come here, help us. <laughs> <laughs> and um, uh, okay, uh, things for yes and for no, pro and contra. Uh, I was very sensitive person, like most of you here. Uh, our tradition is to stay in family, to educate, to to um, to, to to make a co or, or straight connections with our with our member of uh, family, and that missing home, not home as a home, but uh, something that that means uh, feeling. Uh, it for me, it's uh, like Emir and others say. They uh, said, I found myself in his sentence. He said, Amsterdam, great, but something missing. And that something missing is that. <laughs> missing home, missing family, missing friend, tradition, roots, holidays, our holidays. They celebrate another holidays. And uh, I was in, uh, um, in 2004, for two weeks in summer school in Hungary, Budapest. And I, for two weeks, I didn't eat anything. I don't know why, but that food, my, in Italy, food is great. But in first, in first uh, months or two, every, every day pasta. Macaroni, 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 pasta every day. And, in, and at my home, we, say, we eat pasta one day, uh, one time in a week, maybe. One time at 10 days. And there every day pasta. But every day different type of pasta. And uh, uh, a little bit you, you uh, assimilate with everything. That's a, 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 a opasno. Dangerous, that's dangerous. Because you get used to it. Get used to it. And, um, I feel good, but in, in another way, I feel very, very bad. All my family in Banyaluka, my parents in Banyaluka, rest of my family in Bihać, from part of my mother, part of my father, uh, all over the world. Australia, America, uh, 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 Denmark, Sweden, Germany, I don't know where. And uh, they... Uh, try to, to, to uh, uh, feel me good. Uh, they invited me, not only that family that I was, my, my, but even others. They are very uh, cordial people, very warm people, Italian. I was very lucky because uh, I really, in those two, two years and a half, I don't have even one good, uh, one bad, uh, uh, how to say, not memory, but 
Yes. Experience. Yes. Uh, very warm people, and they want to try me. They invited me to go one day to the uh, to the sea, one day to the mountain. Uh, in every occasional uh, uh, some holidays of their uh, towns, and really, but I feel uh, some kind of guilty, guilty because I don't want to enjoy all of that because I don't know how. Uh, my and other my, uh, uh, how to say, nationals live in that moment in Bosnia. So it's not a real. And uh, uh, I forgot to say this. From those lines, I was uh, at the zero, zero point, and I uh, starting to, to learn in language and, and job. Uh, I try to, to climb, but I, I, uh, I understand that I can arrive to those lines, and there is no uh, other good perspective for me in Italy. It's very important, I think, to, to mention that. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, uh, sometimes I was very good in pronunciation. Uh, I had some uh, some bad times when when in conversation I I spoke with a lot of people and they said you 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 speak so fluently you you speak very good Italian but are you a stranger mm -hmm. so those those two questions not uh, and uh, uh, when they said me oh Anela you are so great at work you are well available as a bee. And I try to even more to, to, to work as a two bees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yes, they are very helpful, helpful. But uh, uh, especially at the at the beginning, there is a tiny little some kind of provocation, uh, 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 maybe from one two person. It, it's nothing. Uh, it's nothing evil. No, it's not evil. But I want to say to you, provocation like songs. For example, uh, questo è casa mia qui comando io. Uh, uh, one uh, old, old song, Italian, it seems like uh, uh, here is my home, here I command. And there is a, one of my colleagues that, uh, uh, not loud, but under the voice. Uh, in dark. Yes, in dark. And some other my colleagues said, uh, oh, our uh, uh, children can't find a job. How are you uh, come old from Bosnia and you find two jobs in Italy? Uh, and uh, you have to be prepared even to those situations. Uh, Another anecdote. Uh, I was feel very bad when I, uh, uh, in the occasion that I, it was at one time at, at a year, but it's very difficult. Uh, have to go to the uh, uh, police office to make uh, not visa, but some uh, yes residence uh, sojourno. Uh, so one one year visa. One year visa. Police office where is all strangers, but different kind of strangers. Mm. Uh, you, you, you can only feel uh, 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 with freedom in your own country. And you have to stay in line for three, four hours listening another stories. And I feel very, very bad in those situations. And another anecdote. As I said, uh, I was real. I don't know why, because uh, I am so, and the, the, the Allah or God, ours helped me to 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 find only good thing a uh, people. Uh, one of them was uh, Signor Costa Carlo, Mr. Carlo, uh, and uh, I have to say this: in Italy, I was feeling very good. But I have connections only with older people. 
maybe with the people with ages of my my parents, uh, I a little uh, uh, re, uh, how to say uh, make a, 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 a small connections with the people of my age, uh, and that's uh, another uh, how to say obstacle. And uh, one of them was that Mr. Carla, and he arrived one day and said to me, uh, Amela, you know, I want to, you to come with your parents uh, um, Sunday morning at a church, and uh, we, have a, uh, we will have a, a common prayer, and I want you to uh, make some uh, prayers from Quran. And uh, I said, oh, mamma mia, <laughs> how can I do that? Yeah. Yes, you have to do, you can, you have to do, because I want uh, that, uh, not, not, not my personal story, but uh, he wants to inspire his community to speak about problems in Bosnia and war, and, and how, how can you say, no, I don't want. And uh, it com comes, uh, uh, Sunday morning, the three of us, my parents and I, go to the church. <laughs> and uh, I, with my always papers, uh, the day before I, I uh, take uh, 10 or, or maybe 50 uh, 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 easier, easier prayer from, from Quran, and uh, I translate, you can imagine how that translation was. <laughs> I was translated that in Italian, and we were uh, in the church, my mother, and we uh, sit, you know how to sit in church, and I uh, uh, um, uh, stay and uh, uh, um, uh, listen when they are, when, when he will ask me to, to, to go, uh, and I heard my mother and she uh, uh, um, prayer, <laughs> Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, and I said, "Mom, mom, under the voice, under the voice." That other, uh, and there is a lot of that anecdotes like that. But every, every uh, for for my uh, lucky, good, good, uh, and to uh, make some conclusions. Uh, I don't want to be and to rest a refugee, first of all. Uh, I missed very that period of student life that I um, interrupt so roughly. And uh, when my parents came and said that they want to come back, I didn't feel um, to have enough courage to stay another time alone. Another time alone in this line. I say that for Kenan, for our Menela, Yasmina, Iqbala, you can arrive in some line. And upper, it's, um, uh, it's only space for the native people. Everyone can say to me, oh, now it's uh, possibilities, uh, everything is open, but something is uh, allowed only for a native, native people. Maybe I'm uh, really so sensitive that I think differently, but so quality of life, I feel good there, but uh, uh, it's not only in, 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 in all values in money and in financial. Mm -hmm. It's something that is in soul and heart. Yes. Uh, so qu quality of life, sense of belonging. Mm -hmm. Maybe someone even from my own family uh, now said, yes, I feel that I belonging there in Australia, in America. I didn't feel that. Uh, things that is good uh, and that I want to, uh, to do pro-Bosnia, pro-Bosnia. 
security context. We, I think, that uh, live uh, in secure place uh, in, uh, in compares with other part of the world. Social cohesion, we have to rebuild Kena, Nikbala, Minela, and with help of Yasmina, of Aida, of myself, we have to rebuild mutual trust that we missed here in <laughs> Mutual trust, social support. We have to create jobs, to have salary, to live modest and good, like with dignity, like wants Jalila and her husband. Salary, and we have to improve welfare, health, education. I think that is our homework. Generation of Canon with our help. Sorry for this crime. <laughs> idea uh, maybe to give you uh, uh, our friends from uh, uh, abroad and our friends from Bosnia <coughs> to give you one song uh, maybe a, a, a little verses of this song I will tell you in English and Kenan will tell you with her uh, with his Bosnian pronunciation mm -hmm. will tell yes. you in Bosnia yes. Okay. I first. Okay. Uh, it's uh, uh, our famous uh, poet Alexa Šantić, native in Herzegovina. Uh, I don't want to say this, but uh, orthodox, but uh, uh, feels his own country uh, with his heart. Uh, the, the, the song was "Stay Here." Not all, just a little verses. Stay here, the sun of stranger sky won't warm you like this one does. Bitter are the bites of bread over there, where there's no one close and no brother. From their own mother, who will find better? And your mother is this land. Look around at the karst and the fields Everywhere are the graves of your grandfathers. And not to finish with, uh, uh, here everyone knows you and loves you. And there no one will know you. Our own cars are better even where there the flower fields where strangers walk. Here everyone shakes your hands like a brother in strangers' word. Uh, ups and blums for you, for these cards and so on and so on. It's long. Uh, now you can. Uh. Thank you. <laughs> Sam da kažem, iz prvog puta kad sam razmišljao ovaj, napustio ovu državu, prvo sam se sjetio naših stričeva, očeva i onih koji se stvarao. Ostajte u ovdje. Sunce tuđeg neba neće vas grijeti ko što ovo grije. Grki su tamo zaloga i treba, gdje svoga nema i gdje brate nije. Od svoje majke ko će naći bolju? A majka vaša zemlja je ova. Bacite pogled po kršu i polju. Suda su groblja, 
vlastita djeda. Na ovu zemlju oni bi jeho divi, uzori svijetli koji je brani iz naše. U ovoj zemlji ostanite i vi i za nju dajte zrelo krvi vaše. Oko usta grana, kad jesenja krila, trgnu joj lisje i pokose ledom. Bez vas bi majka domovina bila, a majka plače za mojim ječetom. Ne dajte suzi da joj soka leti, vrate se njozi u naruča svijeta. Živite zato da možete mrijeti na njenom polju gdje vas slava sreta. Ovdje vas svako poznaje i voli, a tamo niko poznati vas neće. Boli su svoji i kršeli goli, no cvijetna polja kud se tuđim kreće. Ovdje vam svatko zadski suzu steže. U tuđem svijetu za vas pelen cvijeta. Za ove krše sve vas, sve vas sveže. Ime i jezik, rastvo i krv svijeta. Ostajte ovdje. Sunce tuđeg neba neće vas grijat ko što ovo grije. Grki su tamo zagloga i hljeba gdje svoga nema i gdje brate nije. Hvala se. I wish that we concluded our uh, our uh, journey of five days with you, but unfortunately we need to cover some small slides to ensure that the concept is received by every one of you, inshallah. Uh, Prof. Amal, every time she talks about this, she makes us cry, but also she, she makes us more resilient, inshallah. And frankly, while she was talking, and especially the last uh, poem, It reminds me of our, our brothers in Palestine, where also they suffer most of the time the same feeling every day. So let's pray for them, inshallah, that they overcome this feeling because they've been يعني, living for so many years, more than half a century now, with this feeling. Okay, uh, we need to cover designing, uh, how we design our project, and one of the things that is our, about our project is being more resilient. And I think uh, we learn from Prof. Amela is that we need to be resilient in this life. Resilience in doing our project, project and resilient in achieving our goals inshallah, in this life in order to survive. Because life is always about challenges. And uh, in order to create a legacy and we leave a story, we have to be resilient. This is the secret, one of the secrets of uh, inspiration is uh, being persistent and being resilient in your project journey. And maybe I always say about this spiral, if you remember, this is, the journey is about resilience. The more you are, uh, you want to go and pick more spirals, it means you need to be more resilient. I think that... So I will try to cover, if we have time, try to cover for you the, uh, again about some of these slides in general. But uh, I will cover only here the most important things that we always say. One of the most important things to start resilience journey is about capturing opportunities. And I think there, is, there was, during this forum, we brought you lots of speakers to open for you opportunities. And you, as you can see, we can do lots of projects without depending on others. We really can open up and make collaboration with lots of people. And we had in this forum about 20 speakers. Uh, not us, I mean, I'm not talking about the, those who came from Bahrain and so on, no. I'm talking about your own speakers, which is here, who we can collaborate with them to do different type of projects. So I wish you go, when we say, يعني, inshallah, uh, when we finish this forum, we're going to send you uh, their names and uh, their positions and so on. 
and each team supposed to draw a line what he will do with this uh, person. Okay, and I'm sure that is uh, some teams they wanted also more, uh, uh, you know, people to come, but you know, could not accommodate them. And I'm sure you can uh, also do that later, inshallah, especially with those who wanted the uh, school directors and others to uh, come and visit us. The other thing about resilience is, uh, uh, we said, the, resi the first thing about resilience is about uh, uh, observation and also discovery. And this comes, uh, we, it means we capture opportunity, and this is what we, did, we try to do before the forum. Then we had the forum and, uh, now, and uh, during the forum, we are really now absorbing. And we started to see that even some youth, they started to say, okay, now we start to, uh, to see what you were saying during uh, July and August. Uh, and uh, I think uh, after this forum, we're going to start to see uh, and understand why challenges are important for us. The more your projects are challenged, the more you're going to come with more uh, stronger projects in front of the jury or in front of the whole world. And when I say the jury, the jury is only a way to let you see, uh, see that there is a deadline for this project. Okay? Otherwise, uh, we want this project to continue, inshallah, forever. Uh, and someone else can take it over. Then also are talking about working uh, and developing uh, the model. And I think uh, you're going to start, inshallah, uh, starting from uh, this week, you start to do your model, you need to go to the field and start to implement your models with the school or with the, uh, you know, the NGO that you're going to collaborate with or with the government entity and so on, or with the maybe entrepreneur or migrants or whoever you need to work with. Uh, and uh, you're going to also uh, uh, make a development uh, of this project. You develop the project every now and then through uh, using different tools. And I'm sure we can see in October when we meet, inshallah, we're going to give you some tools. And then, of course, before, inshallah, ju uh, the jury, we're supposed to uh, uh, reflect and celebrate our achievement, inshallah. So we're going to celebrate before the jury, and we'll celebrate all of you as winners if you really stay till July 2017. There will not be anyone loser, all of you as winners. The only difference is that we'll choose the best project among the best. All of you, inshallah, will be the best pro project, but we'll choose the best uh, among, among us, the best, as I said. So resilience is about, again, moving from what's wrong. Okay, foc uh, today we focus a lot on what's wrong. And our mindset with time, inshallah, will stay till July 2017, and this is what I call it, your economy, will be focusing on what works. Okay, and I think uh, Bosnia is uh, not different than Bahrain, but maybe Bosnia today is more need this than Bahrain, but every country in the world, they need to focus on what's right. As I told you, this is how I solve most of my problems, which I, pay, I paid money for. Okay, to focus on the, uh, well, not the things that people see or put the problem on, but I focus on opportunities where others they cannot see. <coughs> and this, inshallah, we, we, uh, we are why, why I believe, that inshallah we'll, we'll have from Bosnia at least two or three experts that can uh, travel with us throughout the world, wherever we go, inshallah.